with a poem from my book, Mother's Vina. It's called Immortality. And the first two lines are from Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra. Give me my robe, put on my crown. I have immortal longings in me. I think death's going to take a back seat soon. It's going to lose in the casino of life and we'll have to take a quick route out of town. And when it does, I'll know what I've always known. There's a filament of immortality in me, a streak of light from lost time or a glimmer from a future I cannot see. If I stand on the highest rung of my spirit, I can glimpse it sometimes. Stars spread across the skies. Opportunities like lights of unknown and five. It's a poem called A Small Death, A Small Joy. A small death is whirling in my mind. A Sufi dervish dancing wildly beating drums. My heart's manic hurricane. A small joy came circling into my sphere, seized upon, it soon took me over. Small death, immense birth, life's fetus perfectly moving to its absolution. And the third poem is a, is a poem from my first book, um, no, my third book, The Attic of Night. And it's called Hints in a World Caught Between Living and Dying. As fragile as moth wings, yet substantial as architecture. The wind throws sun rays, carry a profound message. Miracles are hidden in the eyes of children and the trusting ones walk upon stormy waters. The litany of praise the birds sing and the somber chant of trees speak to us through the traffic's din. We, drowning, clutching, lost, straying, volatile children of fallen women, offspring of a luminous grace, unthinking carriers of future generations, find love in hidden corners. Laughing, we throw out our hair to the moon, saying, catch. And the night of sad memories drifts away across the sea to lost continents. We throw away the burqa of shame and gaze deep into the eyes of our lovers. We laugh and we weep as we sing. How beautiful are the feet that walk upon the waters.